couple things you're going to need to have. Um, one is the pipe. This is four inch PVC pipe. The thicker the wall, the better you're going to be. Uh, if you don't have it available in country, I've seen it made out of steel, I've seen it made out of plastic, I've seen it made out of flex plastic for a casing. Um, but something that's got some rigidity to it is going to be best. These lengths are only 10 feet long, so we're going to have to couple it together in order to keep, get it down so that the casing is all the way down in the water. So we're going to have to have some couplings, which I, I've got here also. Um, the deeper the coupling, the pipe sets into the coupling, the better off you're going to be. One of the things that we're going to want to be sure happens down in the, in the well is that water comes up inside the casing because that's where our pump is going to be. Um, in order to ensure that, we're going to have to make like a filter out of this piece of pipe. Now this is tedious and it's time consuming, but um, for this to happen, we're going to have to take a, a piece of pipe like this and we're going to have to take a saw and, um, and really, honestly, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to start having to saw slots. We're going to cut until we, we get through. I can feel the blade in there. I can see that I've got a slot in the pipe. So what I want to make sure is that I've got lots and lots of slots going up this pipe. And I'm probably going to go up as much as four or five feet. And so I can twist the pipe a little bit and right in between this, this cut, I can put in another slot. So what we're gonna have here is a whole series of slots going all the way up and down the pipe and then we're gonna turn the pipe and we're gonna do it again. When we're all said and done, we're gonna have something that looks a lot like this. We have slots going all the way through the pipe. You can see these are much narrow. This is a manufactured filter pack. This will ensure that when the water starts flowing in from around the outside of the filter pack, that it's not taking rocks and sand and different things into where in the interior of the well casing where the pump is gonna be. We're gonna prepare this, uh, this filter pack to drop it down in the hole. This particular well, um, I know a hand pump is going on. I want as little debris inside this this cylinder as possible remember i'm telling you this filter pack filters out the sand and it filters out uh, rock and and different things that are going in here on this particular deal we're going to glue a uh, a cap on the bottom of this um, that i can uh, i can put in place that way when we drop this in we're not open into the ground on the bottom now this does not have to be done, but I could glue this cap on here. Then I can take a coupling, glue it to here, and then glue it on my first, my first piece of pipe, like this. And then we'd pick this whole thing up and drop it right down inside the well. Um, because I've got uh, about four feet here, 10 feet here, that's about 14 feet. Um, I'm still going to be shy coming up to the top. I don't want to drop anything down that well until I know that I've got enough pipe that I'm hanging out of the hole. And then we'll cut it off where we need it later. So let's get at this. We've got primer or cleaner. And what this does is this primes the pipe and cleans it. Cleans any, any debris, dirt, grease, oil, anything off the pipe. It's real watery. And then we've got the PVC cement, which is much thicker. The two working together actually melts the two surfaces, the, the surface of the fitting and the surface of the pipe together and makes a very good solid joint. Some of the, uh, the primer. And we're gonna clean this pipe off all the way around. Then we're going to take the PVC glue, or cement as it's called sometimes, and we're going to get a nice even amount right around the pipe like that, and also inside the fitting. 
nice even amount in there. We're going to take these two pieces and we're going to push them together. And there we've made a nice solid PVC joint. We're getting ready to drop in the uh, filter pack down into the bore hole. Uh, we're in, we're, our hole's about 20 feet deep. Uh, we know we only have a couple of feet of water down inside of there. So I'm putting on what a, a four foot filter pack that's giving me two feet in the water and two feet out. Because if the water level comes up more, I, wanna, I still want to be able to filter. If it comes up much higher, it's still going to filter down through the bottom section. But if I was going into some real deep water, say eight or 10 feet, I'd probably want to put two sections of, of filter pack on there. We got our 20 feet of casing in. We're sticking up out of the ground nicely. Um, remember the filter pack that's down in there. We don't want sand and gravel coming in around it, but we want it to filter even a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we got some pretty fine gravel here. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go ahead and shovel that in a little bit on this side and then all the way around. I'm gonna wiggle the pipe, try to keep it going vertical and bring it up past that, that filter pack. So that now we've got water can filter through the gravel, filter through the pack, and then we get some pretty nice clean water going into our, into our well casing. So let's go ahead and shovel some in there. Both sides, perfect. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wiggle this. Now see, this is gonna get in there pretty tight. Here, you can hear it dropping down in there. It's still dropping down in there. I'm gonna keep turning this until I don't hear it. You know, the hole that we bored is only five inches. This is four inches in diameter. So there's not a lot of room between the, the wall of the pipe and the wall of the borehole for the gravel to get down. So just keep putting it in, just keep moving it around, pack it in if you can. If you're, if you're concerned that you're not past the filter pack, by all means, fill it all the way up. If you can bring gravel, if you have enough gravel to bring it all the way up within two feet of the, the surface outside, bring it all the way up within two feet and and you're going to have a much better solid well when you're all done. What is our next step? What kind of pump are we going to put in here? Are we going to be uh, utilizing a hand pump, an electric pump? Um, are we going to uh, are we going to be bailing the water out? Actually, like in the old days when we dropped a bucket on a rope down a well, or is that how we're going to get the water out? There's a couple of different ways that 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 can be done. With this sticking out like it is right now, we can any of those options are open to us right at this moment. The next step on this um, is actually going to be to cap this well off. One of the biggest problems in the world with so many holes being punched into the ground is that um, every time we put a hole in the ground, we are opening up the uh, um, access for runoff from rain. Um, if you have livestock around and rain and runoff, all of that is going to end up in this low spot. And if we leave it just like it is with gravel around here, all of that runoff is going to run past here or has the opportunity to run past here or could run past here and end up right down in our well. We don't know what the situation of the water is in this well. We don't know if it's safe water, good water, bad. We don't have no idea until the water's tested. But we do know that we don't want to add to that problem. That's, the, uh, that's how we do the work with the EXP50. Um, remember, um, as you can see from this video, um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Um, of course, you know, we, we shot through lots, lots of parts of it really quickly. The end result is, is we have a well casing in the ground. And, um, and that's a whole other story. Once we get that piece in there, and there's other things we have to do, and we're going to talk about those things later. The XP50 is capable of digging, you know, into the ground 50 feet. The deeper you go, the harder it gets. Um, the deeper you go, the more material you have to have. And so just keep those things in mind when you're getting ready to, uh, to purchase this. This is a great piece of equipment. When you can't get a drilling rig into a place, the EXP50 is what you want to take with you.